Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly to show you um, how I do my daytime routine. And also, it kind of transpires into the nighttime. So because it's the summertime, it's a little bit different right now because I don't need nearly as much moisture on my skin. So uh, in the wintertime, I would probably have a couple extra steps, but I'm just going to show you um, what I have been doing. So first of all, I wash my face every day still with the charcoal bar. Uh, again, I cut half of it. You stick it in the microwave for 15 seconds and you cut, cut it in half. I put half in the shower. That part does go a little bit faster, but I have it in a soap dish, which is seeming to help. And then I put the other half at the, um, at the sink. So then that helps uh, for washing off my face at night. So, and again, this is the size of a full-size charcoal bar, so it, it is quite large and lasts a really long time. So, I, of course, you want to cleanse your face. The next step is I use our counter match, and as you can tell, I'm almost actually out. Uh, but the counter match, you want to put applied to your skin directly first, and that would go for any moisturizer. So, if you have the nourishing line or the rejuvenating line, you're going to want to do um, it next. So... Uh, you just again just like a couple dime size. I often just do this and then rub it in so really You don't have to use very much of it uh, the this um, Counter match is literally like crack for your skin. So I love it because it helps keep your skin uh, moisturized all day uh, Which is amazing. So right now we are adding um, the sort of prepping side to your skincare. So again, that is counter match. I love it. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your eye cream. So I am still currently using the rejuvenating eye cream. There is a counter match eye cream coming up. Shh. It's top secret. Uh, so I am using the rejuvenating eye cream. So just so you know with the rejuvenating eye cream, um, you're going to want to take your scoop and take out just a small tiny amount and you're just going to put it onto your uh, hand here, onto your thumb. So you just take a small amount. I actually took too much. But the important part of the scoop is that, so that you're not adding um, contaminants into the container. So it's going to make the life of the product last a lot longer if you aren't um, putting your finger into it. So I know it is a little bit annoying, but um, it definitely makes your product last longer. So then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to dab it into your product. And again, I've had way too much. Now the secret with eye cream is it is not to be applied underneath your eyes or on top of your eyelids. Those are the very most sensitive parts of your eyes and well it's the most sensitive part of your skin altogether so you're going to actually want to and sorry I've got to look into my phone here but um, when you're applying eye cream you're actually wanting it to be down as far as just on your cheekbones so now the part here and you're gonna go all the way around and again I'm just dabbing and you can see that it's starting to rub in and then for up above here you're just wanting to rub it on top. So um, your eye lids and right underneath don't actually need product. So what's happening now is as I'm patting the eye cream, it's going to actually seep into the location it needs to go. But um, I know that if you're putting it directly under, you will probably have some irritation based on the fact that eye cream isn't actually meant to go directly under your eyes. So uh, this is where, and then you know, this is usually like, as you can see, I have some, I do have actually some bags under there. And so the caffeine is going to help wake it up, especially with the reju rejuvenating. But again, as you can see, I'm just patting it on to not add irritation to the skin. And then I'm going to put it on up above. So this eye cream part of actually putting it on is the longest process in my whole entire face regime. Because I like to make sure that I'm not irritating the skin. And so I put way too much. So I just got to rub it off now. Sorry, give me two secs. I didn't come with a nap or a <laughs> cloth because I took way too much. So anyways, and I can already feel like the caffeine 
uh, under my eyes here. So that's how you're gonna want to apply eye cream. So the next thing I use is my uh, oil. And so with Counter Match before, I always recommended putting the two together, but Counter Match actually needs to go on its own and be applied first. Uh, the next thing you can do is a couple of drops of the oil. So I'm using the brightening oil right now just to help with sunspots in the summertime. Uh, in the wintertime, I often use uh, the balancing oil. And again, you're just going to take it and you're just going to dab it just like this. Um, always, you kind of want to dab it in, not as much of the rubbing. And I'll put it up on my forehead, dab it all in. Um, and again, face oils are just magical. They help actually balance out your skin oil. Uh, so I know they sound always counterintuitive, but especially with the vitamin C in this, um, I will put, you know, a lot of my sunspots have actually sort of disappeared based on using my, the brightening collection. So I don't have nearly as many as I used to. So again, okay, so that was the face oil. So now I've just kind of dabbed that all in. So now I would typically give it a second. Um, I usually do the face oil at night. So this is part of my, more of my nighttime routine, just cause I like to sleep on it. Um, if I'm not going anywhere and I don't need to put my makeup on immediately right after, I will put the face oil on. But again, more often than not, that's just what I'm doing at night. And again, I'll also rub it, um, I actually forgot to put some lotion down there. So again, I just used the brightening. Uh, and then for my last bit, if I haven't used the oil, um, I am absolutely obsessed with the uh, balancing charcoal mist. And so I actually use it a couple times a day if I'm, especially I'm at home and I happen to walk upstairs, I will spray again. So the t this is acting as a toner, it's acting as, um, also just well I find it just actually balances out my skin it's done magical things to my skin so uh, but I would put it on before I put the makeup on and then now it's actually going to set my whole face so uh, shake it up and then I actually have usually my breakouts are here and here if I have any and sort of on my chin area so I would do a couple sprays And then you just leave it sit for a sec, and then now you're good to go. So um, again, you can now apply your makeup directly on. Just give the mist a couple seconds to set. Um, again, I also uh, mix between that and I use the plumping mist just to try to help with the lines. Um, but I think only, I think it's too late for me. Anyways, if I had known about a skincare regime you know, 15 years ago when my mom told me I should have been doing it, I should have listened. Anyways, I digress. So that is just a quick little tutorial on how I apply my skincare. So hope you're all having a great day. I know the summer's winding down. Um, so enjoy the last few days. See you later.